All right, uh, let's look at the homework 5.2, 5.3, problem number 14. All right, so let's look at this uh, 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 trick ski and uh, slalom ski problem. All right, so uh, first thing we need to do is uh, we need to come up with the um, uh, profit function. So uh, uh, looking at here, so trick ski uh, gives us a $30 profit and a slalom ski gives us $60 profit. All right, so let's write down the uh, profit function first. All right, so we know that the we, of course, it's a profit that we would like to maximize the profit P, right? And the $30 from the trick ski and the $60 from the slalom ski. So X is for the uh, Num number of trick skis and the y is the uh, number of uh, slalom skis, right? And this is sub subject to the following constraint, right? Then looks like uh, there's a limitation on fabricating time, so it takes eight hours per trick ski and six hours uh, per slalom ski, and 384 is the total hours, right? So you have uh, eight hours per trick ski times the number of trick skis, and the six times the y, and this cannot exceed three hundred. I forgot the number. Sorry, uh, it's three hundred eighty-four. All right, so three hundred eighty-four. All right, so this is the uh, limitation from the uh, for the fabricating time. And the finishing time looks like uh, one hour, one hour, and 56, right? So this is going to be x plus uh, y has to be less than or equal to 56, right? So those are the problem constraints. And then you uh, just to be realistic, uh, we're going to have to add a non-negative constraint. So x has to be non-negative, and y has to be non-negative, right? So uh, let's solve this problem, All right? So we're going to uh, sketch the uh, feasible region, All right? Feasible region is a solution region, same thing, it's just, uh, just a fancy word. And then you have uh, here x-axis, and then we have the origin, All right? All right, so then uh, first one, uh, let's see, easy one is the bottom one, so I'll do the second one first. Uh, so this is the first one, and uh, here's the second one, all right? So it looks like, uh, let's see, 56 is the x-intercept, and the y-intercept is also 56. That's kind of a big number. So let's see, I'm going to just put, uh, say, 56 here. And uh, maybe uh, 56 there. So it's the same number, so it uh, looks the same, right? So 56 there. All right, then uh, we're going to just uh, put a dot there and uh, put a dot there. So making sure that uh, I go through those two points. So I'm going to go through there and also through there. All right. So this is the uh, second uh, constraint, problem constraint there. My first one, uh, I have to do a little bit of division. So x coord uh, x intercept would be uh, I have to do a 384 uh, divided by eight, All right? And uh, that'll be what uh, four times eight is uh, 32, and uh, that's going to be 64 left over. And then we have uh, eight, 64, right? So it, eight divides 384 evenly, so it's a 48. So x-intercept is 48, which is smaller than, so if this is 56, so I'm, uh, so I'm gonna put 48 right around there, right? And then the other one, y-intercept would be, I'll have to do a 384, divide by 6, All right? And that'll be 6, uh, 36 here, and 24, and that'll be 4, All right? 24, 0. So 64 is the y-intercept. 
So y-intercept is, uh, I guess, up here. All right, so 48, 64. All right, so 64. All right, so then I'm going to have to connect those two dots. So here and there. All right, so we're going to have something like that. All right, so that's the uh, first constraint there. All right, then uh, uh, we're going to have to shade. Uh, so I'll just check the origin again. Uh, looks like 0, 0, origin, satisfies both of these equations. So you have to uh, pick the lower half plane. So combine those two. So it has to be below this line and below that line. So we know that uh, uh, feasible region is going to be this region right here. All right. Then uh, we're going to look at the, um, the problem constraint here. And uh, actually, sorry, the, um, I should say the objective function. All right, so objective function here. I'm going to solve this guy for y so that the, I know the slope. All right, so we have, so by subtracting 30x, we get uh, negative 30x uh, uh, plus p is equal to 60y. Then I'm going to divide through by 60. So you have a negative 1 half x plus uh, p over 60 is equal to y, right? So uh, it looks like there's no negative sign. So when we want to maximize, we try to push the um, objective function as high as possible. All right, and the slope is negative 1 half. So slope shows up here. So this is a slope, right? All right, so looks like, uh, let's see, um, uh, number 2. Uh, bound, bound, you know, uh, borderline number two has a slope of negative one. This is actually even less steep than uh, uh, borderline number two. So we are talking about the slope uh, like this. So it's a negative one half. So it's going to look kind of like this. All right, so which means that uh, the, the farthest uh, point, I mean the last point this uh, line hits by pushing it upward, you can see that the, this is going to be the last point. Right? This is actually easy to compute because x value is 0 and y value is already uh, given here, 56. Right? So which means that the max profit happens here and the maximum profit is p is equal to right, uh, 30, but uh, we want x to be 0, and uh, 60, and we want to put the 56 there. Right? So that's what, uh, let's see, 0, I just put 0. And 6 times 6 is 36, and 6 times 5 is 30, so it's a 3,000. 360 is the uh, maximum profit. So let's type it in. All right, so maximum profit is 3,360. And we're going to make zero trick skis. And then we're going to make uh, 56 slalom skis. All right, check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, then discuss the effect on the production schedule and the maximum profit if the profit on the slalom skis uh, decreases to $45, All right? So here's the difference, All right? We just have to change the uh, objective function. So part B, so maybe I'm going to go here. So this is part B. So this, oh, wait a minute. Is that how that, yep. So this, this was part A. And part B... Uh, objective function is changed to uh, 30x plus 45x. Uh, sorry about that. Let's see. I'm going to just clean it up. So 30x plus 45y. All right. Then we just do the same thing. And I'm going to solve for y. So subtract the 30x again. So negative 30x plus 45 
P is equal to 45Y, then we can just uh, divide through by 45 to get the negative. All right, um, I'm going to just do 30 over 45X, which can be simplified, plus P over 45 is equal to Y. All right, so what's the slope? Slope is right here. All right, so that's going to be, let's see, um, let's see, 30 and 45 as a multiple of 5, so I'm going to divide through by 5. So 30 divided by 5 would be 6, and 45 divided by 5 would be 9. All right, and actually, I, I could even go, so this is actually equivalent to negative uh, uh, 2 thirds. All right, so slope is negative two thirds, and uh, which is actually still uh, not as steep as uh, number two. So this is a problem, a uh, part A, and for part B, the slope is going to be still something like that. All right, so this is part B, which means that the same point is going to give you the maximum value. All right. So, but the maximum value is going to be a little bit different because uh, we plug in, right, x equals 0, and uh, we plug in y equals 56, okay? So, what's that? Right, I have to do this uh, 56 times 45, right, 5 times 6 is 30, and uh, 5 times 5 is 28. All right, then uh, is 4 times 6 is uh, 24. 4 times 5 is 20, so 2, 2, 4, 0, 12, 5, and uh, 2. All right, so it looks like uh, 2,520 is the uh, profit. All right, so let's uh, type it in. All right, so profit is going to decrease to 2,250, was it? Uh, uh, well, actually, 2,520, sorry. All right, and uh, you're going to make zero trick skill steel and the 56 slalom ski. All right, all right, we got that. All right, part C, and the same thing, and the slalom ski actually uh, increases to 75, all right? So the new um, profit function for C would be, uh, so you have a P is 30X plus uh, 75Y, all right? Then, uh, 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 so uh, we uh, do the same thing as before. And I, I need a room here, so I'm going to go down here and subtract 30x. So you get the negative 30x plus p is equal to 75y. Then we're going to divide through by 75 to get the negative uh, 30 over 75, right? And x plus p over 75 is equal to y, right? Then uh, you can see that uh, here, this is going to be the slope, right? Again, this is going to be not as steep as negative 1 because it's negative 30 over 75. So it's, uh, it's going to be, let's see, uh, if you look at it. Um, so it, it's going to be, let's see, 75. Maybe I should um, simplify it first. All right, again, it's a multiple of 5, so that's going to be 6 over, and it's a multiple of 5, 2, so it's 1, uh, 5 is actually still multiple of 3, so it's negative 2 over 5, all right? So this is negative 2 fifths, all right? So it's going to be even less steep than uh, um, the part A, so the graph is going to look, Oh, actually, that doesn't look right. Uh, let's see here. Maybe it's going to look somewhat like that. 
right it's not really precise but the precise enough to get to the right answer so it's going to be so this is the uh, part c right then again uh, you can see that it's going to go through the same point last so the profit for this one is going to be uh, you have 30 times 0 so no trick skis and then you have a 75 times uh, 56 all right I have to do that 75 times 56 all right 6 times 5 would be 30 and the 6 times 7 is 42 5 times 5 is 25 5 times 7 is uh, 35 so 37 right so you have a 0 a 0 and 2 and 4200 right so let's uh, type it in my profit is going to increase to uh, 42 4200 you're going to make zero trick skis and you're going to make a 56 slanum skis all right check the answer all right got that all right that's it i hope that uh, this was clear